We are headed out to the Restoration Hardware Outlet because it's fun and our kids are on spring break and we are supposed to be feverishly working today so we can spend more time with them the rest of the week and um, they had a chair in stock and I just decided <laughs> let's just run out for a few minutes yeah. and we'll catch up on work at like midnight. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. It'll be fine. because Jack is driving. <laughs> hey, I didn't make the road. Yeah, well, we're supposed to be taking things back to uh, J. Crew and running some errands, except we're being a little bit naughty instead, and we're going to the Restoration Hardware Outlet. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yay! <laughs> We've took our coffees in the car. <laughs> Jack has to stop for his, and I'd just rather have mine out of my espresso machine. So we are actually heading up to the Restoration Hardware Outlet because I called yesterday, and they said that they actually had the swivel chair that I've been wanting for my bedroom in stock. And I was going to custom order one actually for my bedroom, which I still may have to upon seeing what they actually have at the store, but it's gonna take six months at least to get what I want. Six and so, months. yeah. Oh my gosh. I know, I know. And I'm impatient. I am impatient. So I thought we could at least just go and look. And while we're there looking at this swivel chair, we might just poke our heads around and see what they have in the garden section and, you know, like everything else. <laughs> <laughs> you said it's gonna be a quick trip. Yep. <laughs> it's not in and out. <laughs> Super so. quick, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you lied to me. That's why you were so willing to get me a coffee. Oh yeah, he's like, of course like, I'll get you a Starbucks. Yeah, absolutely, you want a coffee? Sure. I did a bait and switch on you. <laughs> I'm so evil. I know, I know, I know. So anyways, my hair is like weirdly fluffy at the top. <laughs> I have like a unicorn horn. <laughs> that's my unicorn it's, horn trying to come out. Of the <laughs> I don't think that's a unicorn that horn. Mean you're horny? <laughs> that's the devil. My little devil horn's coming out. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> yeah, I was ignoring you. <laughs> okay. So anyways, we are headed out to the Restoration Hardware Outlet because it's fun and our kids are on spring break and we are supposed to be feverishly working today so we can spend more time with them the rest of the week and um, they had a chair in stock and I just decided <laughs> let's just run out for a few minutes yeah. and we'll catch up on work at like midnight. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. It'll be fine. So anyways, we're going to share what we find with you guys if we don't get caught <laughs> trying to film in there. Oh, I'll do God. my best to be very uh, sneaky about it so we yeah. can film and just see what they've got and um, yeah, check it all out. So yeah, let's go. Yay. Do you really not feel that excited? No, I do. Do you not feel like the rush of adrenaline flowing through your veins? Yes, <laughs> I do. It's hard to contain. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't driving, I'd be screaming. Well, I'll scream for us. Woohoo! Yes! Right there, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> As always, it is so much fun to go to the Restoration Hardware Outlet because they always have so many great things. And even though I was trying to be a little less obvious about my filming, I think we got into trouble pretty quickly. These were the chairs that we had come for and I really, really love this velvet swivel chair. So you can see that the pricing is pretty good, but you can also do the Restoration Hardware membership and order them from the website and get pretty decent prices actually, I think that way as well. So don't be deterred if you don't, if you don't have an outlet near you because you can find all this stuff for a pretty good price shopping on their sales and also um, checking out what they have just with the membership discount. Here you can see this stunning, truly just stunning piece of furniture and it's pretty banged up. And I think that it was around $800 and that was amazing. It was an amazing price. And if I had had room 
in my bedroom for this piece, I would have bought it on the spot because it's breathtaking. But it's stuff like this that I think is really fun to see in person. And sometimes it can really help you make a decision about whether you wanna buy something even from the regular store rather than just the outlet. Here you can see, I, I have a one track mind, okay? I love these kind of pieces that have a little nod to the past to them. Um, and they had so many of the pieces from the collections that I just really love. Some of the stuff that's a really, really rustic isn't my thing, but the St. James collection, the chagrin pieces, I just, the campaign, I just really love all these different ones. And I think that you can easily mix and match so many of these styles together because they just have an overall feeling as though they really belong together because they all come from that same restoration hardware perspective. I've actually been trying to decide for my own bedroom if I was going to maybe do a white dresser in there my dream is to put a fireplace in and I'm waiting to hear back about pricing for that. But seeing the white in person, it felt a little bit childish to me. It felt like something that would go into like my little girl's room when she was really young. I was also looking at all these great linens. Restoration Hardware always has amazing linens and you really just can't go wrong with pretty much anything that they have. The thing that you have to remember with these linen collections is so that they really won't be very stiff and they'll be very uh, free flowing on your bed. Oh, you can see here where I'm heading over to the bathroom section. Can you get over how much stuff this store has? We almost had the store to ourselves while we were there. I love switching up my cushion covers for the different seasons and these linens are so gorgeous and $39 is a pretty good price. That's half off of their regular pricing. But don't forget, you can also look at the membership pricing online. I, I haven't compared it, but I bet that it's pretty close. My biggest complaint about their coffee tables and some of their outdoor furniture is that it is extremely low. Now these bar chairs are beautiful, truly, just absolutely stunning. And pricing is pretty good not the best but I love all these kind of rustic looking pieces that they have um, but my biggest complaint about most of the outdoor items at Restoration Hardware is that they are extremely low to the ground and it just feels like you're almost sitting in the floor and that's not really my favorite style for me personally but even with the cushions on it I think oh well maybe the cushions are on it but even still it seems just so low these chairs, however, I would just lay on the floor. <laughs> These lounge chairs are breathtaking. I love this collection in general. It's just so beautiful. I love that black wrought iron, but you really have to think through. It doesn't look that low in camera, I think, because you can't see how low it is compared to humans. <laughs> but I just think that they have some really amazing pieces and they really have great styles, but this might be one of those things you may want to just take some inspiration from what they have rather than necessarily taking home all these pieces. You guys can let me know down in the comments if you think I'm completely insane or if you love everything that they do. One of the things that I have always loved and always will love about Restoration Hardware is their attention to details. So this Sun Lounger, I love the way that they put the detail work on the side. I thought that was just so pretty. And it's functional as well, but sorry, I was having a bit of trouble finding the price. But it's one of those things that I think is just really, really pretty. And those little details are what really give your spaces just that extra specialness, it's that extra something. Over here, I was looking at these humongous pots, and again, I'm not in the film here, so you can't see. These are almost as tall as me. They're humongous. And as I was looking at the tables and commenting about how on earth would you possibly move this than this? Oh my God, I can't I believe you're able to lift it. Huh? You're able to lift it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was enjoying looking at the rugs. I have to say that I have never actually purchased a rug from Restoration Hardware. And I think part of it is that usually the prices are a little bit high. And I know that they do have some really great collaborations with some artists and some of these are, they really are great quality. And for the price, it's actually pretty fair what they're selling them for, especially if you're getting the outlet prices. 
but I also feel like maybe they're just really kind of neutral. And if you're looking for a rug that has a lot of personality, I feel like Restoration Hardware just isn't going to be the place for that. I say that as I can see the little glimpse of the elephants on that last one, but in general, I think most of what they have is very simple and that's on purpose. They wanna have something that's very neutral, something that doesn't really scream at you and is something that will really last for many, many years. But sometimes I think it's nice, maybe this is just my personal taste, I like to have a little bit more of a story in my rug. And so some of these that have a little bit more detail, that's more of what I'm personally looking for. But this one, for example, is wool and it's very rough on the skin. It's just something to think about. And let me know down in the comment section what kind of rugs you guys like to have in your homes. Clearly we have moved on to the mirror section and I'm telling you right now, I had to put the camera down like a minute later because I found a mirror that we were not leaving that store without. And in fact, actually at this point, Jack had already been, was already taken it to the register. <laughs> So we have to stay tuned to see what we took home with us. I was going nuts. They had so many beautiful mirrors with all these really incredible details. I, I loved so many of them. I almost couldn't concentrate. I, I was just, <laughs> I was getting so distracted. I wanted to take them all home. Look, get Jack had came back after taking my mirror to, <laughs> to the front desk. But I just love the Restoration Hardware mirrors. I also love Restoration Hardware's office chairs. I've been kind of thinking about getting myself a new office chair because even though I do love my Cartel Clear Ghost chair, it's maybe not the best thing to sit in for, you know, 9,000 hours every day. <laughs> what you doing there? My feet don't reach the floor. <laughs> I don't see a thing. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There you go. <laughs> It sort of needs to be raised up so I'm not like bleeding below the desk. It's pretty though. It is pretty. Before I get too distracted with the office chairs, the reason we actually came was to look for these beautiful swivel chairs. The problem was that they just didn't have them in the fabric that I really wanted and they had so many pretty things and it was so hard not to want to take something home right then and there. But again, it just always comes down to what they have in stock and really knowing your measurements. I mean, they have got so many beautiful pieces. Here you can see the chair, again, just not in the right fabric for my space. So you can see, I really wanted to take one of these home. I really wanted to take one of these chairs home. It was so tempting to take home one of these pieces right then and there, but I really went back to my mood board, the colors that I really wanted, and I decided to stick to my guns and take these and maybe be inspired by what I would really like to have in my room. Oh, I have like a bump. Is that from the mask? Yeah, it's like a little from indention. The mask. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, these are the issues that we are dealing with nowadays, aren't we? <laughs> All right. Well, Mister, you've got your uh, coffees there, and uh, we're gonna head home. Yeah, but I, I, I came home with a kill. I feel like I should put it on the hood of the car. Okay, so maybe if I can get him to install it on the wall, <laughs> I will show you what we bought. So if not, just in case, make sure you hit subscribe. Let us know if you love seeing the Restoration Hardware Outlet. All right, well, that was what are you doing? Stop, you're gonna make me give myself like six chins. <laughs> just look away, people, just look away. <laughs> stop. All right, well, let us, stop. You buy a mirror for the bedroom and just go south from there. Whoa. Whoa. All right, stay tuned. Hopefully we will be showing you that mirror installed. We're getting ready to completely change our bedroom. That's why we were looking for the chair. They didn't have the one that we wanted. But they but really had some pretty stuff. Had a lot and of we other had fun stuff. so much fun, didn't we? Wasn't that just a, just a nice little break for the day? Best thing is, well, yeah, we got time together, which was awesome. And we know when the manifest list comes out, so we can call and find yes. what they got. Yes. So you can call ahead find out what's coming in and see if we can save ourselves some money 
If not, I may just custom order the chair that I want because it may not come from Restoration Hardware. I was just really just being kind of lazy, like, oh, maybe they have it now and I don't have to That'd wait. Be nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Let us know if you loved this. Hit subscribe and like and let us know what was your favorite thing that you saw in the store. That's what we really want to know. <laughs> you can vote for me. Absolutely. <laughs> See you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. So All right, so what are you doing here? Can you show everybody what it looks like? Yes. So, here we go. What did we buy? Ba, ba, ba. Ba. There's me. I had to put a sweater on because the house is freezing. <laughs> For some reason, when you look at it, the reflection's prettier than when I look at it. Let's just go with that. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna put this up because we've been, you've had this mood board in for a long time. Yes, I have. And the antique one that I wanted from First Dibs is not really in my price range. <laughs> okay. And this one is, and it, it looks, is. at least it really, it really does look very similar. And then maybe one day we'll have the, you know, $3,000 No, I like mirror. This <laughs> but it's a little small for the king size bed, but we're also talking about putting a queen size bed in here. So yeah, because you want to be closer to me. That's what it is. <laughs> that is a nice view right there. Woohoo, oh, ladies, this one is taken. <laughs> I don't think any ladies fighting for it. There we go. Woohoo. Yay. Yay. What do you think, Louie? What, oh. what do you think, Louie? What do you think, Louie? Louie's like, just give me more peanut butter. Oh, Nobody will get hurt. <laughs> Okay, so we'll have the four poster here and the bed will be a little bit higher and then lamps and everything, new side tables and it's gonna be amazing. So, shh, please sound atrocious. <laughs> All right, that, I think we're gonna fix the bed and uh, yeah, finish this room up as soon as we possibly can.